So here we have a charismatic shrub that's covering the hills right now with these flamboyant white flowers. It is known as service berry or Saskatoon. It is not a berry. It produces a fruit later in the year, which are palms. And palms are the same thing as like an apple or a pear. They're not a berry. And it's named after a tree in Europe, which is the European service tree. Um, so it's named for its resemblance to that. And its scientific name is Amelanchier, which is the French name for that service tree in Europe. And its species name is Alnifolia. Alna means alder. Folia means like or leaf. So it's like an alder leaf. Service berry is all over right now, grows in clusters. It spreads through its roots and creates kind of a thicket of itself, a clone. Its underground stems send out many roots and they send out many runners coming up as stems. Uh, forming a thicket like this might help against uh, being browsed by lots of uh, deer and elk and moose that like to eat the, the leaves. So the flowers are recognized in having these long strap-like petals, which are kind of floppy and wobbly looking, um, but five long petals with a cluster of, I guess they're stamens in the center. Um, these will turn into uh, red berries later in the year. Again, they're not berries that then turn a dark purple, blackish purple um, and abundant berries. They last through the summer. They're an important food source for for lots of birds and other animals. And then they continue into the early months of um, the winter until they're all eaten. So these berries are an excellent source of uh, nutrition. They look like blueberries and they're related to apples and they're high in fiber and protein and antioxidants. They have a sweet almondy kind of nutty flavor. They are an excellent source of magnesium, manganese, iron, calcium, copper, and carotene. They are a better source of calcium than red meat, vegetables, and cereals, and have three times more iron and copper than raisins. They are rich in vitamin C, phenols, flavanols, and anthocyanins. These berries are full of good nutrients for birds and people. These shrubs add such a dash of color to the landscape. They're so beautiful. And it turns out they're so useful too, in so many ways. I always thought they were called service berry because they had so many uses. I was surprised to learn that it's because they're related to a European tree. So maybe from now on, I'm gonna use the name Saskatoon, the Native American name, just to commemorate its unique American nature.